All right, how's it going, everybody? Well, Joseph did a rebuttal video, so we got to give him his due. And y'all know that I showed y'all everything I had. I started going through this video and a tremendous Bible study is coming in our direction. I think uh, you're going to get a lot out of it. Uh, we run into people all the time that, God, that, that washer is so loud when it's on its final spin. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I'll put y'all in the box. Maybe that'll help get some of it out. I don't know. But uh, somebody alerted me that Joseph did a video. And I was like, well, all right. Um, send me the link. And then I just went and looked. And um, I did want to look at his headlines and stuff like Rapture March 6th, Rapture Watch Day. Um, Seven twenty six again, rapture. You know he is mind controlling the mind controlled, and the only ones that get mind controlled are the ones God has planned to be mind controlled. But Joseph could just be a lost sheep. I believed in the pre trib rapture for a long time. I believed in free will for. I'm sure he's free will. I'm sure he's hell is eternal torment um he's obama antichrist he seems to be everywhere but here's our video and as we go through it i took some notes today um it's all about march 6th right now from obama's birthday these kind of things march 6th tsunami i pet goat 1260 days Watchman on the wall, 88, 726, Hop Perizzo. Uh, talks about a dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill he found that had six 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 on the back. Just you know, he's that's Joseph. And uh, I tried to talk to him one day, kind of like one of them father son chats, and he didn't want to study. And that's what we're going to get into today. There's some great nuggets here. So he says. The title is, I felt I needed to defend myself on this one, last day's mockers and scoffers. So I, because I sat him down, it was nice the whole time, and try to tell him the truth. Um, I am the end of day's mocker and scoffer. And he is a victim, I guess, suffering his tribulation because of me. He got two thumbs downers. Is that y'all? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Should I thought? Oh, I guess I will. I don't know. It's bad. <laughs> All right, let's speed it up though, and let's go through it. Before we do, maybe I should get into the study first. That's his video. We already got that pulled up. One thing he talks about as far as the pre-trib rapture is and, and i took notes these are kind of notes as i went through and only went through about the first third of it so i have no idea what all he's going to say past i don't know the first third one of their pre-trip rapture bible verses is revelation 3 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience whose patience god's patience my patience i will also keep you from the hour of temptation now they stretch this to mean that the church is going to be removed and we're going to show you how impossible that is now there's a comma there i will keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Who are the earth dwellers? The goats. God is saying, you're not going to fall for the strong delusion. Because thou hast kept thy word of thy patience, in other words, because you're a sheep, because it's the Lord that drags you through that process, Man's free will does him nothing. And we prove that throughout. 
I just did it today on, um, I just went through the a Bible verse I'd forgotten to use. You know the old expression, uh, I've forgotten more about the Bible than most people know, or I know I have forgotten more about uh, changing out a carburetor than most people ever know. You know what other things I, f- I forgot to use? Uh, John 1, 11 through 13, as far as no free will. And I, I have not even been using uh, Romans 9, 16 very often anymore. I just, they kind of went out of my vernacular. I just kind of, kind of made a boo-boo. Let me move some laundry around. Hang on. This hour of temptation is when God shall send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. All goats are handed over to the lie. And it's going to be very strong and powerful. This is get rid of the S. Get rid of the S. I've looked it up. I've looked it up in the Greek. The word easily singular. Both of them. So there shall arise the false Christ. Trump and the false prophet, whoever, and shall show great signs and wonders. A deception so great, if possible, even the very elect would be fooled. Um, Show great signs and wonders. For God will send them a strong delusion. Great signs and wonders. In so much that If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect of God. But they don't deceive the very elect of God because the very elect of God can't lose their salvation because Jesus loses not one of his sheep. That he knew at the foundation, well, before the foundation of the earth. Ephesians 1, 4, and 5, where he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the earth to be holy and blameless before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Go to Romans 8, 29, and 30. For whom he did foreknow, foreknew when at the foundation of the world, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be firstborn among many brethren. brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called automatically if you were predestinated you're automatically called and whom he called he also justified so if you are predestinated you are automatically called and then you are automatically brought through the justification sanctification repentant process and whom he justifies them he also glorified that you're getting your glorified body at the end times and or of course slash could be christ in you you're that glory we are all kings and priests so you know, in your own little way, in your own little time, even though you're still in that wicked flesh on the outside. Um, So they point that to a pre-tribulation rapture. (laughs) Because you've kept the hour of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. I will keep thee from the strong delusion that the goat world will believe a lie. I will keep thee from the lying signs the supernatural lying signs and wonders paraphrasing a little bit that the antichrist or that the false prophet is going to uh bring to the whole earth it says which shall come upon the whole world and try them that dwell on the earth i mean how do you get that because that i'm going to i'm going to keep you from the hour of temptation means i'm going to remove the church from the earth and you're not going to suffer tribulation when in fact People try to separate the church in Israel. The church on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments, King James Version. The church is Israel, and Israel always was the church. We are grafted in Jews. So if there's something about dispensational, you know, I don't even understand any of that. I was taught all kind of crazy stuff back in the day. I have forgotten it all. Because the Lord, the Lord will help you shed those creepy things you did believe when he brings you through to the truth. But check this one out also in Acts of the Apostles. We must 
through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. You know how the during the Roman Empire days, the Christians were being thrown to the lions. All you people that think you're saved, I don't know, Joseph and his flock. Um, what is all of your much tribulation that you're going through? Is Are you talking about the evil Dems uh, overtaking any lack? I mean, like, what is your, tri what tribulation are you suffering? When in fact, the great tribulation is to try the church and to get them perfected because in the last days the church is weak even myself i got a nice little grocery store i go get groceries got a car that runs got a job job that i enjoy i mean you know am i uh sort of shunned by friends and family at different times for various reasons because I don't celebrate Christmas, I don't celebrate birthdays, I don't do anything, you know, whatever. Do you think I'm perfected enough in God's eyes? That's what the tribulation is for. It's to try you. Uh, as silver is re try to try them as silver is tried and to refine them as gold is refined. I I butchered it and it's over there in Zacharias. <laughs> I know I crushed it, but uh, do your best. And I will bring one third through the fire, will refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name and I will answer them and I will say, this is my people. And each one will say, the Lord is my God. That's what the tribulation is all about. Now, who would this third be? In my opinion, since we went there, I would offer to you, for I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you be so wise in your own conceits, talking about you Gentiles. Romans 11 and Romans 7 are the two most difficult chapters to read through and understand verse by verse by verse than, than any other two chapters in the entire New Testament to me. Of course, let's just not involve Revelation in that because it's a very different type of book. That is not a teaching book. That is a future book. That is a prophecy book. That's telling you about what is to come, not about what did take place or how to live or, you know, the deep truths. Romans 7 and Romans 11. Romans 7 on sin. You read that in the King James and you're going to just get as confused and read Romans 11 and you won't. What are you going to, what are they talking? Who, who is Paul? It's one chapter where he's talking about the true bloodline of Israel, the Israeli bloodlines of the true Israelites. The rest of the Bible, basically Israel is the church and the church is Israel, as we already showed you in Acts 7.38. And we're grafted in Jews. This is the grafted in Jew chapter, Romans 11. But it says, oh, you know, talking about you Gentiles, don't sit there and be all conceited because you've got Jesus and the Jews don't. And he's saying, know that this blindness that they're going through right now, this you know, blindness in part is happened to Israel. He's talking about the bloodline until the fullness of the Gentiles of the church become in. When the last Gentile is awakened, that's when that one third of the church, I do believe, of Zechariah 13 9 will come alive and two thirds will fall. They just they're not church. Now that's a possibility that that, that that's what that Bible verse means. Um but they're they're gonna call on the name of Jesus, possibly. Now they use that when when I was a pre-trib rapture person, they use that to talk about the Jewish people that are left behind. 
So I guess all the Christians, just because they said, I believe, they don't need to go through. They've already suffered much tribulation in their lifetime. Hanging out at the malls and putting up their little Christmas trees and or doing their Hinduism and their Buddha, because there's no telling who the Lord's going to wake up at the abomination that causes desolation. That's when I think the final Gentile be come in, and I think that's when the Jews, and that's why they, Jesus prophesied to them, fl flee Jerusalem, because they will be aware. And if those Jews, the true bloodline Jews, are truly aware of what's going on, then that means the fullness of the Gentiles have, have then come in. Theoretically speaking, so, you know, say what you want to about all of this. I'm, I'm looking for y'all's opinions always. Y'all know that. And, you know, Jamie and I, you know, study a lot of stuff. She asked a lot of questions in the comments on the Bible study channel, and I'm really appreciating that. It's bringing me through to stuff. But I'm really appreciating what Joseph is bringing to the table because he's giving us this Bible study. Uh, another thing he speaks to in his video that we're going to go through, Barack Obama excuse me, number of a man Barack Obama comes to 666. Well, but Barack Obama itself doesn't come to 666 or Barack H. Obama doesn't come to 666 or even H. Obama or B.H. Obama or Hussein Obama. None of it comes to 666. No combinations. Like Don Trump comes to 666. I mean, Don Trump comes to 666 to his family surname. No, so you'll get to that. Revelation 17, what you say, what exactly? We're going to go over that. <laughs> now, here's another one. This is one of their pre tribulation rapture, pre trib rapture Bible verses. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Again escape what the temptations it's the same thing we just went over luke 21 36 hang on i didn't prep that hang on look at the verse before it as for the snare shall it come to all goats that dwell on the earth watch therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape so it's just talking about the, exactly what we just talked about, escaping the, the uh, strong delusion. So, yeah, that, that's some weak stuff, isn't it? Matthew 8, 29, what is this about here? And behold, they cried out saying, oh, I want to tell you why I put this Bible verse in here. Do y'all know when I went over with y'all the other day about Joseph and I and I went all the way up and all the way down the entire thread with y'all and played through the audios like I might have started at the beginning middle and end I, I didn't make you listen to all of it because it's just me teaching but it was what I told you what we we're saying you, you heard my tone the whole time wasn't mean wasn't salty was trying to be like a teacher same way I teach here same way I same voice same attitude same everything and um, he goes, I'm out and blocked me. He didn't go, hey, let's go back to where we began. Let's agree to disagree. Because remember, he could have said that up front because I asked him, I got some questions for you. And he engaged. Basically, it's like saying, it's like you beat somebody up. And you, and you, and you grab them by the shoulders two weeks later. And you look him in the eyes and you go, I'm never going to beat you up again. Let's just agree to be friends. But a month later, you walk up to him, you go, I think I want to fight you again. And they go, dude, let's go. <laughs> right? So he engaged. I said, I'm, you know, I got, I, got, I got a question for you. And I had LOL there, remember? And, and he partook and showed me all that stuff that I showed y'all. Do you know what him blocking me? And then you're going to listen to him. This is what you're going to hear in his voice. And behold, they cried out saying, 
what have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? In other words, when I equate this to Joseph, he's saying, leave me in my false teaching. I don't want to talk to you about it. Let me go ahead on and be this sinner. Is he saying that? No, the spirit inside of him had him block me. He could have just said, hey, man, when he said I'm out, I thought he just meant I'm out of the discussion and that was it. No, he blocked me. He blocked me. Didn't even unfriend me, blocked me. In other words, I don't want to hear from you. What have you got to do with me? Leave me in. Now, am I Jesus, thou son of God? Who is he speaking? He's speaking to Christ in me, isn't he? When I'm telling the truth. When I'm telling the truth, that evil spirit that is either running the show of the lost sheep or if he is a goat, then he is of his father, the devil. It is saying to Christ in the inner man is Christ in me. He is saying to that part of me, go away. That was the block. Now you're going to love this. This is his other pre-trib rapture Bible verse that he is speaking of. Matthew 24, 40 is another one that he just loves. You ready? He's going to give it to us in this video we're going to watch. Then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other one left. That's Matthew 24, 40. Go up to verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days. Y'all, 40 is after the tribulation. You know what I think that is speaking to? And I think it's semi-symbolic. The sealing of the church. The church is sealed twice in the book of Revelation. It shows the church being sealed. Just a thought. Just a thought. If not, that's just plain the second coming of Christ at the last trump. Oh, well, it is. It says in verse 31, and with a great sound of a trumpet, this is nine verses later you get to Matthew 24, 40. Matthew 24, immediately after the tribulation of those days. Shall the sun be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Coming in the clouds, send his angels. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. Oh, oh boy, this is a parable. No, it's talking about the parable of the fig tree. Okay. When his branch is yet tender and put up forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. Nice. So likewise, you'll see all these things you shall know. Well, of course, when when you see the abomination that causes desolation and 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 people gladly wanting the mark of the beast because God sent them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie, you will have, you will have seen the strong delusion. You will see how it tried the entire earth, folks. As soon as people start getting killed, look up. No man know the day or the hour, the angels and the father, but the days of Noah. But so as it was in the days of Noah, and what happened in the days of Noah was the fallen angels were mingling themselves with the seed of men, creating mighty men, men of renown. And that's what's going to take place. I'm telling you, is that when you, through the technology, people will be uploading the entities into their bodies. And the humans will be 
be extremely possessed. They will be Superman, Iron Man, iron mixing with clay through the technology. As for in the days before the blood, and they knew not knew when the flood came, then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding in the mill and one shall be taken and the other left. Watch ye therefore know not what hour your Lord. That's just talking about when the Lord comes. And, you know, is the church, you know, the, the Lord, the church is sealed. It shows twice. And after they're sealed, then perhaps in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, he comes down with, a, you know, but, you know, you have to put it all together, which is very difficult. But know this, that the good man of the house had known in what hour the thief would go. So can you believe that he took that verse and, and is saying the church is removed before the great tribulation when all this came after the great tribulation Bible verse? How did they do that? He doesn't read his Bible. He does not read his Bible. He does not read his Bible with any discernment from the Holy Spirit as of today. I'm just saying. You can't. You can't. And I was done. So I don't know how far I got. I got probably to around there. I don't know. So let's go ahead and listen. Let's speed it up. Let's see how he sounds at 175 if he's a slow talker it'll it'll do good we can get through it quicker if not we'll go down to 1.5 i want to make sure you hear every word volume up hey guys welcome back it's joseph quick and simple gospel yes Ooh, let's slow it down a little bit two when jesus came to this earth lived a perfect 33 years was crucified on the cross for our sins buried in the tomb for i cannot tell you that he lived 33 and he said a perfect 33 years does that mean exactly the last day of the 33rd year? No, Jesus was perfect for his entire time on the earth without sin. But the way he says it, a perfect 33 years, I teach vocabulary and, uh, <laughs> you know, blah, blah, blah. So does the bible state how old jesus was no it doesn't but i know that's their big number so if they bended things because this whole a b c a d who invented b c e or b c a d who came up with b c a d The BCAD system was invented by a monk named Dion, Dionysus. Eggs. And the only reason I was able to pronounce that is because I've heard of I've heard of him before. Dionysus. Exegus, who was trying to establish Christian chronologically. Y'all, it was a Catholic monk. I'm not going to sit here and ever tell you I know for sure how old Jesus was when he died. And if you can give me Bible proof on it, please do. I would love to know. These are, those are, I want to learn stuff, man, but I want to learn the truth. Keeping the origin of BC, AD, when is Easter? Good grief. When is Easter? Mm. All right, anyway, let's just get rid of all that. Let's trim the fat a little bit. Let's keep trimming. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Three days and rose from the grave on the third day. We are saved through faith in Christ alone by another name. Amen. So guys, we're saved by grace. <laughs> for grace, we are saved through faith. I'll do a deep study on that too. I hate doing videos like this. Um, sure we do. We all do. But I feel like it's necessary since the man says um, he's going to be doing a big video about me today, Tuesday, and I figured I would nip this in the bud and address it before this goes any further. And um, so I'm going to explain to you what happened with this man, and I don't know what his problem is. Now, why wouldn't he say who I am? Does he not want his people? He should, full disclosure, 
show my YouTube site like I show his and say, here's the guy. Look at his playlist. Wow, no free will. John 3.16, falsely taught. Uh, artificial intelligence is the good. He won't show it. Well, well maybe he does. Again, I, I've only watched a little bit of it. Um, but- I'd be shocked if he showed my YouTube site. I, I'm telling you right now, I'd be I'd be in shock if he showed my YouTube site to his people, because I think he's just that way about it. But we agreed to disagree on a situation he mentioned numerous times. We never agreed to disagree. I told him. I just agree to disagree. I, t- I said that in the videos that he watched. I never said to Joseph, hey, Joseph, I just want to say, let's me and you, we, there's no formal covenant made, okay? In his videos, when he was sharing my work, that I am a pre-tribulation rapture person, and yeah. I also, he was he, sharing my work he, he so numerous it. times in his videos when he was sharing my work. He phrased we it, agreed right? to disagree on a situation he mentioned numerous times in his videos yes. when he was sharing my work yes true that i am a pre-tribulation rapture person and i also believe obama is the antichrist we established that from day one when yes. me and him started speaking yes. and he mentioned numerous times in his videos that me and joseph had agreed to disagree so i yes. felt there was no reason no. to say that in our message wasn't a covenant. He, through his own voice i just decided that, to that it was a buried subject we agreed to be friends um he's a post-tribulation guy who thinks that we're going to go through the rapture but does god want me to be his friend because God already ordained all of this at the before the foundation of the world that this would happen. So I put all things in the hands of the Lord. And you're like, well, that's, that sure is getting rid of accountability. Uh, say it the way you want to. I've had a lot of rotten things happen in my life. And a lot of amazing things happen in my life. And I will tell you that God ordained the good and the bad. Every, every bit of it we're going to have our heads cut off and all that and that's fine that's great and he also believes that trump is the antichrist um and that maybe obama is the false prophet and um i don't agree with that and um i've given numerous reasons why and um he for what, whatever reason doesn't want to accept that and i showed you all those reasons that was some pretty weak stuff and but he did and that's the weird thing he came out of nowhere and uh just started and i didn't come out of nowhere It was on a Sunday afternoon, and I said, hey, I got a question for you, or something to that effect. LOL. Let me ask you a question, LOL. You know, wanting me to prove to him my point, and I proved... I just asked him a question, though, didn't I? I was using Scripture, Revelation 13, 18. Calculate the number of a man. Number of a man, Barack Obama, equals 666. Okay. Say that again. Number of a man... Number of a man, Barack Obama, equals 666. Number of a man, Barack Obama, equals... You have to key all of that in. Number of a man, Barack Obama, to get 666. That's not how it works. Carefully crafted, twisted by the ghost in the machine. Six. Okay. And um, also, uh, Revelation 17, the beast who was, is not yet is. I talk about scripture in all my videos. Ooh. What was that? So uh, Revelation 17, the beast who was. Is- in Revelation 17, let's slow this down a little bit. Uh, yeah, it is. I talk about scripture in all my videos. You talk about scripture in all your videos. Very, very loosely. You talk about the beast that was and yet is. How? How? I've never in, in, ever seen you describe how Obama, I, I showed everybody on that thread how you got mixed up and thought there was two beasts and then a false prophet. And then we biblically showed that's not how it is. There's two beasts. The Antichrist is the beast out of the sea and the false prophet is the beast out of the earth. That's it. And you said there were two beasts and a false prophet. So not really sure what it is that you're accomplishing when you teach us or show us the Bible. Because I asked you to study. I asked you some, you didn't, you didn't want to go there anywhere with Bible verses. It's not in you to do Bible verses. And his spirit knew better to do that with me because his spirit 
not him consciously. His subconscious spirit knew, do not go there with him. He's got Christ in him. Let's get out of here. Six. Okay. And um, also, uh, Revelation 17, the beast who was is not yet. The beast who was. It is. I talk about scripture in all my videos. Boy, he just ran right through that. Okay. And that's why I'm a pre-tribulation guy, because that's. That's why you're a pre-tribulation guy? That's what the scriptures say. That's what the scriptures say? We just went over the scriptures you gave. It was the weakest thing I'd ever seen in my life. And y'all need to know all this in case your husband, wife, son, daughter, mother, father, preacher, next door neighbor, and y'all are having these discussions and they throw that stuff at you, boom. You won't bat an eye when they do. You'll go, I already know about those verses. You might say, I can't recall them right now. Okay. Like my friend Trey. <laughs> but I know what you're saying is hogwash. Um, Luke 21.36. Luke 21.36. We don't need to make it big. Luke 21.36. Went over it. Check. <laughs> check. Oh, check. That's hilarious. Revelation 3.10, Matthew 20. Revelation 3.10. Revelation 3.10. Check. And then he's going to say Matthew 24.40. When I start it, you might only get the 40 out of it. 24.40. And many more. All right. And many more? What have you got for us? Because that's what we want to go through. We want to go through your verses. I want to go through your verses so bad. Give me more, please. But let's get into uh, what he said. And this is the reason why I'm making the video. And again, I don't. None of this I've seen. I have not seen it. So I, one third. Heck, I only watched one tenth take pleasure in making videos like this but i need to defend myself if he's going to be making videos about me and um so let me just show you what we're talking about so he said thanks for falling for the trap and coming on and defending yourself with pride and ego you've earned what's coming any gematria for that do you see a 222 in this post you're about to get some truth is what you're about to get <laughs> That was my flesh talking, obviously. I was fired up. And, you know, I think Paul explains a lot of that in himself in First and Second Corinthians. First of all, guys, does that sound like a real Christian right there? Like a mm. follower of Christ? First of all, in Gematria, Jesus is the truth equals 222. You must, must be born again equals 222. All right. The word wisdom is found in the Bible 222 times. Daniel 222, Acts 222. I would not be scoffing and mocking at God's perfect numbers. All right. Um, God's perfect number is 222. Is that what he's telling us? Because his name is Joseph Aquaviva. Two, 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 two. So did you jack up God's perfect number by adding a two? Or did you add to the Bible? Or did you add to God's perfection? I don't understand why you've got four twos when you're telling me that two, two, two is the perfect. Is there anything in the Bible about uh there's that one verse about blaspheming that if you blaspheme the holy spirit you're done and no sheep can do that because jesus loses not one of his sheep so if you blaspheme the holy spirit and we never really do understand what that means if you do it then god had already ordained that you would do it as a goat before the foundation of the world Especially when you're a person that's given me tons of 
um, not praise, but I'll get to the the screenshots of how many times you've said, oh, amazing job, great job, all about 222, all right? So I guess that's what this video is going to be about. But yeah, that's pretty disrespectful to, uh, to even make that comment right there. Do you see a 222 in this post? And uh, I don't think a true follower of Christ would ever say something like that to another brother. Anyways, you're about to get some truth is what you're about to get. But scramble, scramble to block me from all four of my YouTube channels, not just two, before I come to yours with the link with your name on it and dismantle your false doctrines. Okay. And I think that's what we're doing. So he says, as of Tuesday, which is today, I will be doing an extensive video on you and what you are all about with your numbers and how you didn't even understand, grasp that there's two beasts, an antichrist and a false prophet, period, in the end times. That's exactly what I said. That there's two beasts, an antichrist and a false prophet, period. And he said that's exactly what he said. Let's go look. Hang on. I'll find it for you. Now, keep in mind, sorry, I had to move some uh, laundry around. When I dropped that post on him, which I told you, it was a little fleshy. I'm not going to lie to you, but I was telling him the truth. And I warned him, I'm going to come on. I'm going to dismantle your stuff. And um, don't think for a second that Paul would ever sit around and let, or any of those guys. They never let those guys get away with false doctrine. That's what Acts of the Apostles is full of and a lot of of course paul's epistles are so unfortunately some of my people became followers of his and i sent them to him and then i feel bad because of the numbers and and one of them was our friend who we don't hear from anymore but he's been commenting on joseph's so and that's look it's the lord's doing um I forget his name. And um, I remember his name now. I'm not, and I'm not going to say his name. But my point is this. If I've been the cause for promoting his channel, then I need to be the cause of dismantling his channel. And I think that's what the Lord did. The Lord was going, people are watching his stuff. Some of your people that were following you are commenting on his stuff in very positive ways. This guy's a false teacher. This guy's a heretic. This guy maybe is a goat. In theory, it's a possibility because he's not in truth now. And if it's a narrow way, then the odds are automatically against him. I did not make those fleshy comments, even though I was telling him the truth because I did a video that he watched where I explained Joseph blocked me. Why did I need to explain that Joseph blocked me? Because I had been promoting Joseph's channel. Warning that he's pre-trib and that he's Obama, but thanking him for all the gematria because, and, and there were parts of different videos where I, you know, I got little nuggets from, from his videos. So I did a video explaining that he blocked me. He came on and commented on that video. And that's when I gave him that. I'm going to dismantle your, yeah. He came on and commented on my video. So now you're following the whole thought process. Now, here you go. Let's go through it again. I want to let's go back and listen to exactly what he said. And understand, grasp that there's two beasts, an antichrist and a false prophet. You didn't even understand that there's two beasts, comma, an antichrist, comma, and a false prophet, period, in the end times. And how the seventh is one, how the eighth is one of the seventh. Now, now watch. Because he's going to say, yes, I did. But period in the end times. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what he said. He's saying, yeah, I did. That's exactly what I said. You want to see what he said? Trump is the seventh king beast. Obama is the sixth and eighth king beast. 
Trump a beast, Obama a beast, and the Pope is the false prophet. Once again, the false prophet is the other beast. There's the beast out of the sea, which is the Antichrist Donald Trump, who's the seventh and the eighth. Well, he's the seventh, but the eighth is of the seven. The real seven. There's like a real seven and a fake eighth. Because he allegedly rises from the dead. And then you got the beast out of the earth which is the false prophet. So did he tell the truth? No. Did he tell the truth to his people? No. Now, do y'all realize there's a possibility he don't even understand that he's wrong? He, I mean, I don't, when I follow Joseph's whole thought processes, when I, when I went down this whole video with y'all, I did, I honestly wasn't real sure of, um, just where the depths of his knowledge and intelligence asked. And th this is how I approached him. I said, I got to ask a question. I got to ask you a question, LOL. Cause he was just sending me all this stuff. You see at 3.04 PM, he sent me that. And he had been sending me all that stuff Sunday at 3.02 AM. He had sent me all this stuff. I said, good stuff there, man. He sent me a heart. I was just trying to compliment him. But as I'm complimenting somebody that's wrong about the antichrist and wrong about the rapture the lord the lord poked me and he said you gotta get rid of this guy so he, he had me go to him and said i gotta ask you a question so let me ask you a question joe you got this you know you went up there and you liked my thing where you know they showed you trump beast out of the sea and you know the beast out of the sea. it was a bill mar where they did a beast out of the sea reference and and I was telling everybody Donald that, you know, it's Donald Trump beast out of the sea. And he liked it. Well, we see now that he does like it because he's got Trump as a beast and Obama as a beast. And he's got every, you know, he's got, you know, and then he's got the Pope as a beast because the false prophet is the beast out of the earth. So he's got three beasts. He's got three beasts. There aren't three beasts. And how the eighth is one of the seven. Yeah, I know. That's my point. Barack Obama is the sixth and the eighth. Barack Obama is the sixth and the eighth. And Trump is the seventh king who occupies a short. Ooh. You changed your story, pal. You changed your story. Where's that Pope at? We're not going to get into who's right about Obama. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and quit. We're going to quit that conversation. Trump, this is me just defending myself. All right. Yeah, not in truth, though, Joseph. You're not defending yourself in truth. I'm going to show you why um, this guy had, I, I dare this guy to make a video because he's going to look pretty silly when I do a rebuttal and show. <laughs> what would Paul have been like on YouTube? I don't know. That's, no, I don't know. Better than me because I got too much flesh going on, I'm sure. Again, what I'm going to show you here. And guys, I, I hate doing this. This is not to try to put this guy down. This is just to protect myself. He came at me. My friend, go at it. I don't know where I wanted me to prove something. He didn't like my answer. That he didn't like that I wasn't going to bend, and uh, so he just started. To didn't like that you weren't going to bend. Hold on. I didn't like that you weren't going to bend. I said you're too into the numbers and losing the Bible. Stay with the Bible. 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 He shot me more numbers. I said, Bible, not Gematria. I wanted to study with him. I said, Gematria is only for the number of his name, period. And he goes, I'm out. That's me being mad because he wouldn't bend? No, I just did a, a YouTube video on why he blocked me. He came on and commented on said video, and then I gave a rebuttal comment to that. Now, I have since blocked him from my channel because I was pretty sure I was done until uh, my friend uh, 
told me, hey, Joseph made a video about you. <laughs> right. Let's go back. And he says, and then like back. my answer that he didn't like that I wasn't going to bend. And uh, so he just started to attack me. All right. No, no, you came on and commented. And then I replied back and you're reading my reply back. Pal. And then he says, and then I'll proceed to dismantle your pre-trib rapture. No. Yes. Nonsense. We already right. have. Pre-trib rapture. <laughs> I hope you get to watch it. Nonsense. Okay. So you would have to explain to me Matthew 24, 40. Two will be in, we did. Two will be in the field, one taken, one left. You'll have to explain to me Revelation 3, 10, Jeremiah 20, 9, 11. Would you say Jeremiah? Jeremiah oh, is he giving us more Bible verses? Um, Luke 21, 36. All right. You'll have to explain to me why people all around the world are having rapture dreams, why people all around the world are. No, I didn't think so. I thought he said Jeremiah something. Did I go back far enough? Or 40. Two will, be, two will be in a field, one taken, one left. You'll have to explain to me Revelation 3.10, Jeremiah 29.11. Jeremiah 29.11. Hang on. Let's go there. I won't pause. Let's just go there. Jeremiah 29.11. This is Old Testament. Now, how you're going to get a pre-trib rapture from an Old Testament, I, 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 I can't even imagine. Did he say Jeremiah 29.11? Let's just bring up the whole thing okay i guess i blew it let's go back matthew 24 40 two will be in, two will be in a field one taken one left you'll have to explain to me revelation 3 10 jeremiah 29 11 jeremiah 29 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end same that's the same thing that i was talking about the blindness in part has happened to israel until the fullness of the gentiles be come in type of situation that i think you're reading there possibly i haven't studied it it's just a off the cuff guess um luke 21 36 did it all right you'll have to explain to me why people all around the world are having rapture dreams why people all around it's called demonic entities in the world are seeing the number 726 which means harpazo all right and um oh y'all y'all should see those videos I saw 726 again, all these people that are seeing, and you ought to see them in the comments. It's like one of those devilish churches. Look how many videos he puts out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six videos within 24 hours. One day ago, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one of them's, you know. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeff. Found new twenties, right? So because he was new, it was the only one, and it really stood out to me. There was and an you're old never one. Never gonna believe the, what I found. The old, the old twenty dollar bill had a six 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 on the back. That means Jesus is coming. Do y'all get this? And Tracy says, wow, look at Andrew's face. Fold right on the eyes upside down. It's a face with a mask on. Proving again the virus was P-L-A-N-N-E-D. -N wow, brother, that's crazy. I've had dreams in the past involving $20 bills, which I figure probably had to do with the year 2020. Money is the root of all evil. 1159, death of Jesus in the world. I'm telling you, you might, they might as well all be into Hinduism, Buddhism. So what does it matter? When the Lord calls the church at the very end times, at the abomination, there's going to be, it doesn't matter. He's just going to wake you up, and then you're going to go through the great tribulation. That quick. That fast. I mean, I know there's one verse that says, after the tribulation of the day, of those days, we'll gather his elect. And uh, the second coming and the rapture are two different events. 
Hold on a second now. Are you giving us some doctrine here, my friend? Hmm. I got to slow down for that. That says after the tribulation of the day of those days. So after the tribulation of those days. We'll gather his elect. We'll gather his elect. And uh, the second coming and the rapture are two different events. How do you figure? Let's go over the word elect. Joseph. And let's go over the word election. Joseph, let's do it. Let's, 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 let's. Matthew 24, 24. If it were possible, shall deceive the very elect of God. If it were possible. Greek 1588. Election, Romans 911, for children not yet born before having done any good or evil that the purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. G 1589. So you got 1588 and 1589. Elect and election. Elect, the act of picking out choosing the act of God's free will by which before the foundation of the world he decreed his blessings to certain persons The decree made from choice, the decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Christ by grace alone. A thing or a person of persons, God's elect. Did I do the wrong one first? I think I did election. I did election first, my bad. Election is the act of picking out, choosing the act of God's free will before the phone. Okay, so you get it. And it's also the decree made. Election is the, is the decree made by which determined to bless certain persons through Christ by grace alone. Elect. You're picked out, you're chosen, you're chosen by God to obtain salvation through Christ. Christians are called chosen or elect of God. If I'm not mistaken, he just tried to separate them. I mean, I know. Oh, there's one verse that says, after the tribulation of the day of those days, he will gather his elect. After the tribulation of those days, he will gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. After the tribulation of those days, he will gather his elect to the four corners of the earth. At the four corners of the earth. After this, I saw four angels. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Well, he is all. And uh, the second coming and the rapture are two different events. The second coming and the rapture are two different events. And one thing I showed y'all yesterday. was 1 Corinthians 15.51 and Revelation 
11:15. When the seventh angel sounded, that's the last trump because the seventh what was it? The seventh seal released the seven angels that had the seven trumpets. And at the last trump Why did I do that? Why did I leave off? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Who's we? The church. That is who the we always is. <laughs> And the seventh angel sounded. Y'all, that's the seventh seal. That's way after the um, great tribulation. That's what you're well into God's wrath. But the church gets sealed. So now the church doesn't go through God's wrath. The wrath is only affecting the goat world. At the rapture, we, we go up to meet him in the air. All right, then yeah. We come back with him on white horses. All right. If the if the rapture is post tribulation, what are we gonna like? If the rapture is post tribulation, we're gonna get raptured at the end. Go up for like five seconds, high five Jesus, and we're gonna come back down. Ooh, is he mocking? You know, he's made the statement. He made the statement at the very, look at it. You're at the 630 mark. We'll come back to that. He made the statement, if I'm wrong about the rapture, so be it. I'm willing to get my head cut off. Which means he's not 10,000% sure. Why would you be mocking God if you're not sure? Hey guys, welcome back. It's Joseph, quick and simple gospel. Yeshua, Jesus came to the... So guys, I hate doing videos like the video about me today to dress it before, um, but we agreed to just in the pre-tribulation rapture person. And I also believe Obama is the Antichrist. We established that from day one when me and him started speaking. And he mentioned numerous times in his videos that me and Joseph had agreed to disagree. So I felt there was no reason to say that in our message since he, through his own voice, already confirmed that, that it was a buried subject. We agreed to be friends. Um, he's a post-tribulation guy who thinks that we're going to go through the rapture. We're going to have our heads cut off and all that. And that's fine. That's great. And he also believes that Trump is the Antichrist um, and that maybe Obama is the false prophet. And um, I don't agree with that. And um, I've given numerous reasons why. And um, he, for whatever reason, doesn't want to accept that. And But he did. And that's the weird thing. He came out of nowhere and uh, calculate the number of a man, number of a man. I was using scripture, revel prove to him my point, And I proved. I was using scripture, Revelation 13, 18, calculate, and, but he did, and that's the weird thing. He came out of nowhere, believes that Trump is, the, um, he's a post-tribulation guy. Boy, he's already confirmed that, that it was a buried subject. We agreed to be friends. Um, so I'm going to explain to you what happened with this man, and I don't know what his problem is, um, but we agreed to disagree on the situation he mentioned numerous times in his videos when he was sharing my work. I can't remember where it was. He said it, though. He said, if we get our heads cut off, so be it. I'll, I'll get my head cut off. We're going to come back down. No. No, Revelation 3.10, because of your patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial. Oh, the hour of trial is the abomination that causes des desolation. It's the strong delusion. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back down. No, no, Revelation 3.10, because of your patient endurance, I will keep. I go all through that, y'all, on my Bible study channel. I've been through it once already. And I, we are getting to that point. I'm already at Revelation 18 right now. So we'll be going right through what he's talking about. Church being removed. You got the church being removed. And then you got the wrath of God. You got the whole earth just getting slamboogled by God's wrath. And then Jesus comes uh, with us. But, you know, we'll go over that. We'll go over it in detail. And that's why I continue to go over it in detail because I want to have it completely memorized. Keep you from the hour of trial, right? Anyways, and then the link will go out to every person who comments on your channel. We're about to have some real fun. Thanks for falling for the trap. First of all, <laughs> Satan sets traps up. Yeah. Satan had you come on 
because you're of your father the devil that's why you're not in truth so he sent you to watch my video even though you blocked me from facebook you could have just uh by the way you could have just blocked me from messenger then we could have remained facebook friends no you blocked me completely but you did come on and watch my youtube video doesn't need lucifer all right why are you trying to set traps for other christian brothers and sisters that that doesn't seem very christ-like no you you fell for the trap satan trapped you i didn't trap you I don't have that kind of power over you. I think the Holy Spirit's having a little fun with that spirit that's jacking you around. Thanks for falling for the trap and coming on and defending yourself with pride and ego. I don't think there's anything wrong with defending yourself. All right. So this is how it started. This is what irked me. Um, I was showing him some numbers and after the scriptures and um, I said, Donald Trump is the seventh king. A is one, B is two, C is three equals three, three, three. All right. I didn't think that was meaningless. So he says, that's meaningless. You're burying the lead, right? I said, burying the lead. <laughs> so how is that meaningless? He said, you're too into numbers and losing the Bible. Guys, I talk about the Bible. I'm glad he's sharing that. All day, every day. I've lost all my friends and family because of the Bible, all right? Uh, I don't think that's why you've lost your friends and family. I sing songs to Jesus. I mean, I have 300 videos all about Jesus. If you guys don't think I love the Bible, I, I mean. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord. I don't know. Okay, so this is how it started. He came out of nowhere randomly. He said, I got a question for you. And then he left me three voice messages, which were basically saying, um, you know, how can play him for him? Um, after it, I played him for my people. Everything I've, I've shown you about Trump, you know, you still won't believe me. And how come everything I've shown you about the rapture, you're still telling it's not about believing me won't believe it the truth. People, there's a and I said, you light the beast out of the sea. Facebook post. He ain't bringing that up either, is he? Basically, he wanted to know why I'm leading people astray after all the evidence he's shown me, right? And, you know, something I, I was pretty sure we had. A Wasn't worried about him leading people astray. I was worried about him. Agreed to disagree on. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've sent people to his channel, and that's why I think the Holy Spirit separated me and him and is putting us through this process. So every moment that I've spoken positively about Joseph tenfold i'm now having to speak negatively so the lord's putting me through and trust me this is taking up a lot of my time there's other things i could have been doing i wasn't meaning to make videos this week i told y'all that long when i'm that was it i said i'll see you next week and uh, so then i showed him revelation 13 18 and revelation 17 8 the beast who was is not yet is and the numbers all right there's two there's two verses right there all right and guys that's the theme of my ministry i'm i'm trying to figure out who the antichrist is no you're not no, you're not. You already know in your head. It's the aka naka naka knocking the guy. Obama's aka naka naka walking. Aka naka. And also uh, tell people that the rapture is coming. I mean, if you don't like -wee. my ministry, that's okay. You don't have to stay here. You can leave, but there's no reason to to message me, grill me. You don't like my answer, so then you just grill me and grill me until I finally just until until your spirit goes get away from me god what do you have to do with me it is not your time what was that what was whoa, 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 whoa. where was that what have you to do with me it's what joseph's saying w what are you grilling me for what are you doing to me it's not my time yet let me continue on my fake ministry why are you grilling me isn't grilling him uh, y'all heard every audio i did or at least bits and pieces what no grilling to it we were sticking to some facts let's go through again just so you can hear the tone of service that's what we called it when i was a telephone operator and when he cometh he must continue a short space so make sure you go up and watch the listen to the audio above before you send no name before you send me more Gematria is what I said. Ah, <laughs> oh, just. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So make sure you go up and watch the, listen to the audio above before you send me all that stuff. Before you, before you keep, just, just keep pounding all these. Well, Barack Obama parked his Volkswagen, comes to 666. 
So basically, you think Obama's Obama's probably the false prophet. Trying to give him a little credit. I mean, trying to make him feel good. No, Obama's not. He's not hearing his own name. Trump is a horn. A horn is a Trump. Here, but it's like you're tied to all that stuff you just sent me. This gematria. That's like all this. Come on, man. I'm trying to help the kid out. I'm trying to help a kid. You also get six 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 from. Listen to my tone the whole time. Will through the journey. Like a teacher. Seriously. The Lord called me to help the kid and he said I'm out. Because why? All right. So yes, God sends the entire earth a strong delusion. All the strong delusion. Whatever Muslim. They're just dudes. Oh, I remember that one. Well, that's enough of that one. I said a word I'd never say on the, you know, uh, exposing the club membership. Yeah, that 474 stuff, that's that's now, that's that's a lot of, that's a lot of bending. What I'm trying to tell them is, now you're sending me stuff that's 474, that means the number of the man, Barack Obama, is 666. Well, what the heck is 474 have to do with 666? You got it. in other words, stick to the, Stick to the point. Use gematria for the number of the man, period. I don't need to know that Akanakanakana or Tampa Bay equals 474. Good grief. So you'll get the idea, right? Just block you. And that's what happened. He just kept saying, um, he kept rep repeating the word Bible over and over as if I, I wasn't already talking about the Bible. He's honestly acting like a person with some mental issues. He just kept saying. <laughs> well, there, well, there you go. I'm, de I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely mental. And Bible, 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 and of course, brother, yes, we love, we always use the Bible, and the Bible is the number one, and numbers. You sh are you sure about that? Because I think Gematria is your number one. And anything that anybody made that told you the, because who knows who made this Akanakan, Akanakan thing? Same people that showed us the moon rocks, right? You with me? Or dinosaur bones? <laughs> like are not anywhere as important as the word of God, but for you, you were just, but, but what just acting like a crazy person, like not listening to logic. Like I would y'all see his logic. Don't you was showing you very logical things like the last. Aka, knock, 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 and 474 fallen angel, 474 angel of Satan is 474 the Phoenix 474. Super Bowl was played in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay equals 474. Tampa Bay equals four. Seven four. Pontiac one thousand hatchback equals four seven four. If you drive one, you're gonna turn into Akanaka Naka one. The weekend came down like a fallen angel. The weekend's birthday is February sixteenth, two sixteen. Barack equals two sixteen. He was born on the two hundred sixteenth day of the year. Six times six times six equals two sixteen. Okay, and I was telling you, I believe Obama is a clone of Akhenaten. Not only do they look identical, but as I mentioned, Tampa Bay, 474, Barack Obama, 474, Akhenaten, 474, the Phoenix, 474, Fallen Angel, 474, the Angel of Satan, 474, Barack Obama, 474. So I was just saying, you know, there's got to be some meaning to that, you know, and uh, he just kept saying that's meaningless. It doesn't Trump, Trump's stuff, does it? Don Trump comes to 666, and when you key in 666, you get Donald John Drumpf, and we've proven that Drumpf is the family surname hidden at the 1600s, but so to fit Bible prophecy of being here in his own name as the horn. Jesus said, I come in my father's name and you receive me not, but if one comes in his own name, him you will receive. Who is the Antichrist of the Old Testament? It's the horn. And a Trump is a horn, so he's literally here in his own name. That trumps any of the Akanaka, Akanaka, and Phoenix stuff here at 474. I'm sorry. Plus, that's meaningless. Uh, but I'm crazy. Who is this Akhenaten character? And he was just going out in left field with all kinds of, you know, well, maybe this is a psyop. Maybe that's a psyop. Maybe uh, the whole. No, you asked me. No. Nope. You asked me if Barack Obama was a psyop. Those were.
your words that I, I never said the word psyop y'all. He asked me, so basically you think Obama is a psyop, LOL. He's who they want you to think he is. So let's go to it. So the beast that thou sawest was. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still teaching the Bible. How stupid am I? Outside the box tomorrow, you got to keep it simple. When he cometh, he must continue a short space. So make sure you go up and watch the, listen to the audio of the temple. Fighting crime, he's on the temple coin. The Antichrist has declared himself to be God in the temple. The beast is the Antichrist, and you're telling me Trump is the beast. Well, the beast out of the sea is the Antichrist. So it's, Joseph, it's like you're almost there, but it's like. Listen to how encouraging I am to him. But I'm mental. Telling him to stick to the Bible. You're tied to all that stuff you just sent me, this gematria that's like all this outside the box gematria. You got to keep it simple. SAX, SAX, SAX comes to Donald John Trump. <sighs> Coaching the man up best as I can, huh? Isn't that something? Herman Trump, six, gematria. Man. So anyway. Are we wrapped up here? Okay, not in things of psyop. I mean, maybe, dude, think about it the other way. Maybe Don Trump is a psyop. Maybe that whole thing is, you know, you, you, we can only go with what we're giving, guys. And you're going to sit here and, like, bash me for very logical viewpoints. Anyways, guys, I just want to put it out there. And uh, this hey. is his page. And, you know, I'm not bashing the guy, but here's his video. Sunday comments and Joseph Block. Hey, he just showed my video. I told you I'd be shocked. He did it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is his page. And you know, I'm not bashing the guy, but here's his video. Sunday comments and Joseph blocked me. Yeah, bro, I, I blocked you from Facebook after uh, you were praising my work for months. Uh, trying to just encourage you. Y'all know what I mean by that? Like, you just try to keep the guy kind of close to you and hope that through osmosis that he just sort of starts to come into the truth. But when I noticed he wasn't, it just hit me that Sunday. The Lord's, you know, go at him and try one more time. And I said, hey, let me ask you a question because you're still not getting it. But I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. Like, good grief, man, help this dude out. He just keeps sending this, what, at three in the morning, he's sending this stuff. Am I calling him mental? Let his work speak for so itself, I don't know where man. you came attacking me, and I didn't want to hear it. Also, what about this, dude? You're over here telling me every day, sending me voice messages, how there's no rapture, no rapture, no rapture, no rapture. Do you think I want to hear? What? Hold on. I'm sending him voice messages? Saying there's no rapture, no rapture, no rapture, no rapture, no rapture. See, I like that. See, that's something he sent me, and I like that. No rapture, no rapture, no rapture, no. February 20. When am I sending him videos, audios about no rapture, no rapture, no rapture? I'm, I'm, he gave me some love on that one. Hey, thank you, Joseph. I will check it out, man. Yes, sir. Thanking him for his service. I mean... If, if if I was doing what he just accused me of doing, would he be, I want to go through every video now, I mean, every audio, because dude just accused me of something, didn't he? Could he be a liar? Year of your father, the devil? I mean, I don't know. I got asked, no, then I got to ask you a question. He said, what? Here's his video, Sunday comments and Joseph blocked me. Yeah, bro, I, I blocked you from Facebook after uh, you were praising my work for months and then out of nowhere you came attacking me and I didn't want to hear it. Also, what about this dude? You're over here telling me every day sending me voice messages how there's no- Every day sending you voice, we just went through the day. No rapture, no rapture, no rapture, no rapture. You think I want to hear that every day? No, I don't. So that's another reason why I blocked you. Yo, he lied. He, no, that's, he just, we just caught him in a lie. We caught him in a boo-boo. Year of your father, to, well, you already know what Bible verse it is. Why are you looking it up? Lazy. Think, boy, think. Joseph, you're showing works as of today, that year of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, 
He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Yikes. Y'all. I mean, I'm sure a long time ago, I might have sent him something, right? Look at that love, love. He's giving me love from his. I mean, y'all, I'm all the way up in the, how far up am I? February 11th. He's sending me Gematria just nonstop. Nonstop just sending me Gematria. Nonstop. That's all he did. That's all he did. Gematria, Gematria, Super Bowl, Gematria, Gematria, Gematria me. Gematria, he's sending me Gematria. He's sending me Gematria, Gematria. He calls me mental. He's sending me Gematria. He's calling me mental. He sends me Gematria. What do I say? Great info. I sent him seven seconds, 10 seconds. Great info. Yep, that's when he was elected. 2016 with that six. I like that. That's kind of cool looking. Helping the guy out there. And thanks, uh, thanks for the info there. Uh, I'll look it over, man, whenever I get to my computer for sure. Looks like good stuff. All right, Joseph. Thank you, man. There's no pre-trib rapture. All right. Thanks, man. I just put um, all your stuff. I think I'm on the commode. I hear an exhaust fan. In my video. I just read everybody. Read it. That <laughs> so was very cool. He gave me some love there. Okay. So he's giving me love on all these. Love, 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 love. Y'all. There's no pre-trib rapture. There's no pre-trib rapture. Where's my audio? There's no pre-trib rapture. There's no pre-trib. We already been here. Looking like Valentine's Day 2022. Nope. Totally different subject. He gave me a laugh on that one. Here's eight seconds. It'll take you to why, why it very well could be next year. Yep. I always come back to you, though, him need on the third. So there's no pre-trib rapture. Y'all heard me say it. Nope. What's this? That, there's no pre-trib rapture. Here's seven seconds. Means then they would have 16 months. Nope. Which makes more sense. Nope. There's no pre-trib rapture. Y'all, he made up a straight up lie, didn't he? Sure enough, did. 43 seconds. And the next one, he gave me love. Man. Seventh, like a bolt on his birthday on the super full. There's no pre trip rapture. Or there's no rapture. There's no rapture. There's no rapture. There is a rapture. It's post trip. Gotta ask you a question. Y'all, he lied. He straight up lied. All right. I wanna go eat and get to bed at a decent time. It's already not a You're over here telling me every day, sending me voice messages how there's no rapture, no rapture. Every day, just went through it. Yeah, I don't have his phone, so it wasn't text. That was it. That's how we communicated. And he lied. And he lied. And he lied. Ain't he something? Whew. All right. I'm not going to listen to the rest of it. Well. Rapture, no rapture, no rapture. You think I want to hear that every day? No, I don't. So that's another. Every day? We didn't find any day. Reason why I blocked you. I'm sorry. All right. And you know, it doesn't matter if uh, I just got a 30 day ban from Facebook anyways, you know, we're in the end times, man. He gets, he gets banned a lot, mm. but I'm mental. All right. So, all right. Here's another one that I sent him uh, weeks ago. Gianna Bryant equals 126. A is one, B is two, C is three. She got Tuesday unreal. So he's on board with me there about the talk of Tuesday. This is, guys, I never put percentages on mine. I say everything's a watch day. He got on February 25th, man. All right, buddy. Well, if I'm such a liar and a false teacher and a false prophet, why are you out here asking for everything I got on February 25th? Okay. All right. January 29th. Because you were, you were my numbers guy. I wanted to see what all there was. That is insanely outstanding work, my friend. You've okay. contradicted yourself completely. My friend, amazing work once again. I'll video that later tonight. Do you think your divorce day is significant about anything? All right. And he wanted to go ahead and make a video about me because you got uh, upset that I bought here. So you don't even need to do that. Save your time and energy. You just said, my latest video is about your verses. Man, February 15th. I'm about to get some truth. Blah, blah, blah. So he's teaching false there, but all your messages were praising my work saying great. Um, who lost his tooth. Yeah, there you go. 
it was my son with his tooth. I said, yeah, hey, Lucas lost his second tooth and that got me a 30 day ban. So I'm being targeted guys. This has nothing to do with my son or his tooth. I am a targeted individual at this point and they do not want this knowledge getting out. And this year is what was so offensive to Trey and every. It's <laughs> not offensive. Mahdi Barack Obama, 666. Image made of Obama, 666. Satan as Barack, 666. But his name does not come to 666. And 666 does not come to his name. It does Trump's. Who, by the way, is here in his own name because a Trump is a horn and a horn is a Trump. They're both trumpets. Everybody else, they don't like the facts. They don't want to listen to the truth. Obama, uh -uh. Truth? 666. Thank well, hold on. We've already seen you be pretty loose with the truth there, pal, about me sending you messages every day that there's no rapture. And we didn't find not one. It's not a coincidence that Obama, Akhenaten, and 666, and they look identical. Akhenaten by itself is 474, Barack Obama, 474. Barack Obama looks like Awanakin. I don't know how to spell it, so I tried to say it. Barack Obama looks like the statue of Anakonakin. Statue. Barack Obama looks like Egyptian statue god. Check out these pictures. There it is. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna key in this name and put origin of. looks just like Barack Obama. It looks just like Barack Obama. <clears throat> that looks like something made seven years ago. No, 12 years ago. <laughs> and it still don't look like Barack Obama. That's what this guy is hinging everything on. This sounds like the Jack Nicholson thing. You've hinged your theory and you know, a few good men on a, on a, I don't know. I forget the line. Real Aquanakanakan. like a woman to me <laughs> oh geez i don't know folks yeah well i gotta change my mind now that's definitely the antichrist <laughs> wow four all right it's a very uh narrow walk and um you know, this, this information isn't for everyone. And, you know, for some people, it's not, a, it's not that important. It is not a salvation issue, guys. All right. My channel is about the Antichrist and the preacher. You know what the salvation is you, issue? Are you, are, are, you, are you called by his grace or not? That's the salvation issue. And faith without works is dead. So if you don't like that, that's fine. If you disagree with it, that's fine. You know, but to make, to bash someone and uh, make a video about him and say, we're going to do this and that, you know, I just want to come out and clear the air about that. Oh, I said this and that after you came on and commented. And it wasn't like you were nice or pleasant. I don't I don't remember what you said, but uh whatever you said, that was my reply. And I wish you the best, Trey. I'm praying for you. Um you <laughs> okay. know, maybe you'll change your mind soon and uh 
Yeah, you yeah. Know, change your mind soon enough to get back in time. And uh, if you got a good <laughs> situation, you know, I wish you luck. I'll be up there in heaven with all my brothers and sisters celebrating at the wedding feast. And uh, we'll be cheering you on, wishing you luck. But um, <laughs> we got to hear that again. Well, that was pretty good. That was good. You know, I just want to come out and clear the air about that. And uh, I wish you the best, Trey. I'm praying for you. Um, okay. You know, maybe you'll change your mind soon and, uh, you know, change your mind soon enough to get raptured in time. Change your mind soon enough so you'll get raptured in time. And uh, if you got to go through the tribulation, you know. But since you've already gone through much tribulation, you'll go ahead and be removed. But then since I haven't gone through enough tribulation, I'll be left behind for another removal of the church. That's not in the Bible. I wish you luck. I'll be up there in heaven with all my luck means Lucifer. Don't say luck. Other brothers and sisters celebrating at the wedding feast and uh, we'll be cheering you on, wishing you luck. So he'll be up there cheering luck Lucifer for me. That's why in the James Bond movie, they say good luck about 29 times in the movie. I mean, it is said so often. The word luck means Lucifer. Do you know what luck means and why you should not use it? The emphal, I can't talk right now. I need to eat. Of the word luck has nothing to do with the Latin word Lucifer. However, in Dutch, it means happiness or good fortune. Hmm. Gluck, fortune, or good luck. Does lucky mean Lucifer has smiled on me? Probe. I would like to know the meaning of the word lucky. I've been told that it means Lucifer has smiled or blessed me. Is this true? Probably not going to tell you that there. Lucifer itself is not a naughty word. It just means light bearer. Uh, the origin of the word lucky is Lucifer. Christian form. The origin of the word lucky is Lucifer. And Lucifer itself they said is not a naughty word <laughs> all right anyway lucifer is old english word written latin lux it means to bear or to carry the light bearer interesting um i'm sorry i was reading that wrong is luck a derivative of lucifer answer the word originates from high german dutch phrase on term unknown origin well, no, that looks like it could be something decent. I doubt you're going to find anything in that. I don't know. This whole thing, though, it's been an interesting study. Uh, I can tell you that the Lord's definitely gotten me out of saying good luck because I heard that. Whatever the true origin of the word is, next time you tell someone good luck, think about what you are saying. Are you not realizing you may be saying or possibly being understood as saying but because I don't think the outcome might be handled in the situation? Well, I don't know because I wish Lucifer to help you out of this. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't do you any favors bashing people um, who are looking for the return of Jesus, um, you know. Anyway. Incorrectly and teaching it so. Anyways. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, we'll see what comes of this. I'm sure he'll make a follow-up video, and I hope this doesn't go back and forth because it really doesn't need to. My friend, if you don't mind, address everything that I have said in my videos. Because I just went through your whole video with my people. Now go through my two videos with your people. There ain't no way you'll do it. Um, we, we agree to disagree, and that's all it needs to be. Because I got the proof in here. To be, there's no reason to, to trash me uh, for absolutely nothing. Just because I didn't want to bend and, uh, you know, sorry, I'm sticking. Bend? You didn't want to learn. You didn't want to even look at the Bible. And you still don't think, I don't think you still understand 
that it's not beast beast and then false prophet. Get my guns. I am looking for the return of Jesus. I think it's him. He's sticking to his guns. I, mean, I think all the signs are here. This is what God's given. So we got in the good luck and sticking to our guns. I mean, God shows me 222 and 726 every day as he God shows him 222 and what was it? God shows him every day. All right, I'm sticking to my guns. I I'm trying to slow it down. Slow it down. I'm looking for the return of Jesus. I think it's imminent. Right on. We can at least speed you up a little bit. I think all the signs are here. This is what God's given me. God shows me 222 and 720. God shows him 222 and 726 every day, as he has many other people. Signs are here. This is what God's given me. Oh, God 726. Shows me 222 and 726 every day, as he has many other people. As he has many other people. He's showing them 222 and 726. Oh, even YouTube. Um, go ahead on YouTube, type in, I'm seeing 222. I'm seeing 222. You will see thousands of videos of people. Y'all, gematria is the work of Satan. It's just, that's how you get the number of the man. We're not supposed to sit here and be using it like he's using it. In these end times. Gematria is like astrology. I've just started seeing it. And uh, it's because Jesus is coming. <laughs> it's because you brought in more demons into your situation than you know what to do with. And they're just showing you everything. That's meaningless. Rapture taken. Is it a father of lies? First equals two, two, two. So, all right, guys. Got <laughs> That's why I said, are you seeing two, two, two in this post? I couldn't help it. It was a little smart alecky, you know, hey. But I hope you all got a good study out of it. There was a lot of, of biblical information here for you. And I hope, I hope you dug it. All right. Love y'all.